You've used plywood in your home as your wardrobes, beds, tables, sofa and even your baby's crib. But in India, 25% of the plywood sold is counterfeit. While purchasing plywood for your home project, you look for trusted brands such as Green Ply, Kit Ply, Century Ply. Now, even if the plywood sheet which you're purchasing has this sticker or logo of these trusted brands, there are very high chances that it's fake. Now, you may think if it's just wood, I mean, why care if it's fake or branded? I'll give you one reason. Counterfeit plywood can lead to issues like coughing, asthma, and even cancer. A counterfeit manufacturer works on one principle. What's the easiest way to make profits? They don't care about quality standards, regulations, or how it affects consumers. Not only with plywood, counterfeiting happens in every other industry like milk, pharmaceuticals, or even clothes. Now, here's the thing. The way counterfeiters make money is by compromising on quality of raw materials used in manufacturing. Now, speaking specifically about plywood, plywood has three steps in manufacturing. Peeling veneer, stacking and cutting, and finally gluing and pressing. The main costs incurred in production can be broken down into three. Wooden costs, glue costs, and labor costs. Now the wood and the labor costs remain the same for counterfeiters or brands, but the quality of glue used can vary the costs drastically. The cheapest of the glues is urea and formaldehyde based resins and urea is used in pesticides. Formaldehyde is used to preserve dead bodies. Cheaper glues have higher concentration of urea and formaldehyde when compared to the expensive good quality glues. Counterfeiters generally look for the cheapest glues in the market and those are the ones with the highest concentration of urea and formaldehyde. Brands on the other hand make sure that the glue is safe and are required to do so by Bureau of Indian Standards. They make sure that the concentration is maintained at one parts per million, which is safe. Now, not only do brands have to follow these standards, but they also have to get their plywood certified before selling. For example, companies have a grade of certified plywood called BWP. It stands for boiling waterproof. Now, this particular test to get the certification, the plywood is exposed to boiling water for 72 hours to test its water resistance. Counterfeiters have zero regard for this requirement or standard mandated by the government. They have no incentive to do so and they have nothing to lose. It's the consumers and the brands that are affected. So what do we do about it? How do we differentiate a counterfeit and a genuine product? Brands have always had this problem. Renowned brands lose out the most because it directly affects their sales and of course their bottom line. And worst of all, their reputation is damaged. Now to solve this problem, brands have invested a lot in technology which allows users to authenticate whether they are buying a genuine plywood or not. One such technology is a QR code based product verification made by a company called Unico Label, which works with various brands to ensure that each product a brand sell can be identified as genuine or not. Customers can use an app to scan the QR code to verify the authenticity of the plywood. In fact, when I spoke to brands like Kitply, Century Ply, etc., who work with Unico Label, I was relieved to hear that customers were happier and able to trust the product more because they were no longer dependent on dealers to check if they are buying something genuine. Our goal with this video was to make sure that consumers like you and me are aware of the simple way to ensure that you're buying genuine plywood because I want to make sure that you're not compromising on your health just because you happen to buy from a counterfeiter, especially when your hard-earned money is being spent on it. Thank you.